dumpsters, and other good places. Right now I need pork chop and steaks. I, and I bet you I'll get it too. Number one product in North America, garbage. And I'm in the number one industry. You better believe it. The funny, sad world of an urban garbage picker. Yeah, there's pop cans in there. You can tell by the sound. Now, you open the, bi the bag up only part ways. This is especially uh, useful when you have a whole mess of garbage. This way you control how much has, has escaped and how much you've sorted through. See, I know this garbage. This particular bag is from a restaurant deli. It's... Well, we're a little late too, eh? There's just nothing in here. I'm not even jumping in. Not worth it. Down the corner there. I never heard the truck coming. It's six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I was there. And then it picks me up. <laughs> As I come up there, I don't have to dump like this. I can see the driver. I says, put me down. <laughs> I, he put me down. He put me down all right. No, he landed but on I hit the four sides of it. Bing, bang, bang. <laughs> Well, he figures you ain't gonna get in one of well, these no more. <laughs> Jackpot and clothes today for somebody who's interested in clothes, women's clothes. That's one thing when you're picking. You find a hell of a lot of women's clothes. Because why? Because women are style conscious. And, you know, they buy something and then Two months later, two weeks later, whatever the time frame, ah, it's out of style. Ah, we got to throw it out. It's no good anymore. Chances are, if you clean this up, and if you had a high-class job somewhere, you could walk in there and people say, oh, look at this designer skirt you just bought. Where did you get it? Well, I picked it out of the local dumpster. When I first started this, I was concerned uh, about what people thought. If there was somebody around, I wouldn't go in uh, a garbage bin. I've gotten over that, and uh, now I do what the hell I have to do, and to hell with the rest of them. What? Where? <laughs> it's in the corner, closest to the cart, which is a mobile workstation. First thing you do, neon tubes. You lay them down because anything can fall on top of them and smash them and get splinters in your eyes. Juice can for two cents. Pop cans, I squish them to conserve space. The reason you rip the smallest bags first is because if you rip a big bag, you get all this clutter all over the goddamn place and you don't know which small bags you've ripped and which you haven't. You seem to find a lot of good stuff. Well, this watch come out of here. Yeah, that watch. With the battery in it, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, too, comes out of there. Hey, I'm telling you. I got about maybe 15 lamps. Jean keeps his eye on the calendar. The last weekend in the month is the best time to pick from apartment building dumpsters. Jaw says that's when people move and throw things away. I'm stuck with two Chesterfield, two big chairs, and oh, two TVs. Nah. Oh, look at this. This is class A1 food. People would kill for this. Bottle pickers cannot afford to maintain a microwave oven, even though on occasion they have been known to find them. But the thing is, you take this home and microwave it for a few seconds. That brings out the moisture and it will taste and feel and be a, uh, te a texture that will just rival something right off the counter inside the bakery itself. You know, people take the disposable society. We have it here. 
lives are disposable everything is disposable human emotions are disposable we we, we have re we buy things just to throw them out this right here the garbage bag some person went down to Safeway and, and spent $5.95 for a neatly packaged set of garbage bags and what happened first he threw away the wrapper then he threw away the bag and that's all it was used for was to be thrown away now tell me you know and we say we have a high st standard of living what we have is a high standard of excess right here I mean, all we do is we just throw everything. Number one product in North America, garbage. And I'm in the number one industry. You better believe it. I buy for food, nothing. Not even coffee. I got everything. Every day now at five o'clock, Jean stops at the supermarket dumpster to pick up a few things for dinner. Dozen eggs. Are they fresh? Well, well what's, what's expired? You put it in your fridge, you're good for another three months. It's true. And I know. Here comes my steak. Right now I need pork chop and steaks. And I, and I bet you I'll get it too. Oh, yeah. But you know when they close, eh? It's barbecue chicken. And I'm so sick of barbecue chicken that... There it is. You guys have permission to be out here? Oh, don't worry about that.